Hi, greetings, Phil Whovians. Whovian and Queen here. Hope you have a good week so far. We'll look at the 13th Doctor Era. Now continues on with Demons of the Punjab. While well, celebrating the birthday of her grandmother, Umbreen, Yasmin receives a broken watch from her. Curious over its origins, Yasmin convinces a hesitant 13th Doctor to take her, Graham and, Ra Graham and Ryan, to the Punjab in August 1947, where the watch is broken. Upon arriving, Yasmin learns that the watch's previous owner was a Hindu man named Prem, whom younger Umbreen intends to marry despite Yasmin's family being Muslim, and Prem definitely not being her grandfather. The doctor notes that the group have arrived on August 17th, the day before the parish partition of India. She advises her friends to rush to the wedding ceremony to ensure that they and their family are not caught in the partitioning. But matters become complicated when the group see two aliens that the doctor had visions of during brief head pains over the body of the wedding's overseer, Sadhu Bhakti. The group are joined by Prem, who saw the aliens around the time of, of his older brother's death during his military service in World War II. As the doctor assumed the aliens killed Bhakti and eventually recognizes them as members of the the, the Jarian, a race of assassins, while finding their ship and stealing a capsule from them. The doctor has said that the Jarans are actually the, the last of their kind, Caps holding were remained of their destroyed planet and have dedicated themselves to commemorate those who die alone. At revealing that Prem will become a casualty of the partition they intend to witness, that the Jarans that the Jarians agreed to show the doctor recording Bhakti's death. The footage reveals Bhakti was murdered by Prem's younger brother Manish, who opposes the wedding. Returned to the others and convinced by Yasmin to see the event through, the doctor oversees the marriage ceremony with the group witnessing the watch being accidentally broken as Umbreen cherishes its significance. When the doctor later accosts Manish for Bhakti's murder, he reveals to have contact a small group of armed Hindu nationalists to attack the wedding reception. As Umbreen and her mother escape with the doctor's group, Prem remains behind to reason with Manish and dies when the nationalists attack and I shall shoot him while the Thijarians observe. Back at the present, Yasmin's grandmother comments on her granddaughter's new henna. Hmm. So let's take a look at the production of this episode, beginning with the casting. After the premiere episode, The Woman Who Fell to Earth was broadcast. It was held as Shane Zaza, Shobna Gulati, Hamza Jitoa, and Amita Suman, who will be, a number, will be among a number of guest actors that would appear in the series. They play Prem, Naja, Manish, and the younger Umbreen, respectively. And now on to the music. Sokuna Kanola's soundtrack was made use of instruments such as the tabla and the Shehan. Shehanai, performed by musicians of South Asian descent. Akinola also created a new arrangement of the closing theme after the style of Punjabi music, performed by Kulijit Bamra, Surjit Singh, and singer Shahid Abbas Khan. And now finally on to the filming. The episode was filmed in the province of Granada, Spain. Hmm, interesting. So I think this episode is pretty good. I like the fact that we get to see a little bit of yes, got, we got to see um, got to see some got to see well the younger versions of of Yasmin's family and how they all got started and stuff. So yeah. So overall, I give Demons of the Punjab four Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, anyway, tune in next week as we take a look at Kerblam. Well, hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified about my upload videos. And if you will help support this channel further, then please be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Hoovian Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I'm a first popularity of the Neutron Flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Add-on Z! Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool.